Okay guys, so today we're working on an 11 by 14 primed canvas. I just used gesso, acrylic gesso, to prep the canvas, just one coat, and I let it dry. I'm going to do an underpainting today with scarlet red to begin. And I'm going to use my large round chalk paintbrush. This is a 3 inch. You can find these at Walmart or on Amazon. And pick up some red and just simply start painting the entire canvas. It doesn't matter how you paint it, just want coverage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dry this off now. Okay, so the next color I'm going to be adding now is my Neon Luminous Red by Holbein. And for this step, I'm going to be using a number 12 Pro Stroke Filbert brush. I'll get it a little bit wet. And I'm just going to start pulling across. Back and forth. making it look somewhat streaky. And then I'm going to go right underneath here. I'm going to leave a little area right there where we're going to have our um, horizon line and some foliage, some trees. The next color I'm going to take is a bit of my luminous neon orange. And for this step, I'm going to take a little bit of each orange and red, the neon red. I'm just going to apply it right in this area here and below. We'll add a few little sort of ripples in the sky for sweepy looking clouds. and a few ripples in the water. And the next neon color or luminous is warm luminous yellow. And back to a clean brush, same brush. I'm gonna take some of this warm luminous yellow little bit of neon orange and begin adding some right about here giving the indication of a sun back there and then making it look a little bit hazy
Go ahead and add a little bit down here below. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water on my brush. Loosen that paint up a little bit. And start pulling and flicking for some sun rays. I just want these to look really subtle, so I'm staying away from adding any white at this time. I'm just going to come in with a smaller brush. This is a number two round brush, and I just want to have a smaller brush to gently pull down this really thick paint and to fill this in a little bit better. Okay, so the next color I'm going to be adding is black. I'm going to mix my black up with my scarlet red and I'll be using the same large filbert brush. So I'll take a bit of red and black. Maybe a little bit more red in there. And I'm going to go and pull right across for the horizon. And then I'm going to just leave a bit of a space and then come around the sides here for a shadow. That'll help draw our eyes into the center. And then the excess paint, I'll just add a little bit around the edges like this. The next thing I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of water and loosen the paint on my brush so it's somewhat runny, transparent. I'm going to line my brush up and press, pull, and flick. So I'm just pulling and just flicking up towards the sky. We can go down below and do the same thing. And we're just going to make them a little bit smaller towards the center. 
Then I'll take a little bit of black and I'll go right through. Let's try that again. And then to make it, this is the reflection down below in the water. To make it look a little bit more like water, we'll just very lightly pull. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then follow through down below. Take a little bit more black, like I did over here. Push and then pull off. So it's thicker here to make it look like it's closer to us, right? It's gonna be bigger, wider here, like the trees are bigger. That will give us that perspective. And just with a small filbert brush, it's dry. I'm going to go back and take a little bit more of my warm neon luminous yellow. Just bring it down a little bit lower. up a little bit on the tip of the brush or tip of my brush here and add some more ripples in the water. And now we can come in and create some trees and I'm going to be using a number 16 of filbert brush. Getting it just a little bit wet. And I'm going to come in with more black this time. Kind of push, wiggle, fan out my brush a bit. And I'll start on this side. So we'll just add a little tree simply by turning our brush like this. Pushing and tapping. A little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and add some on this side. Maybe we'll make this one leaning a little bit.
So it's nice to give them each a little bit of a different shape. Some maybe having more branches and being fuller and thicker. Some having a little bit of character, have a little, having a little bit of a lean or a curve to them. So I've got three on each side. I want to change that pattern. So I'm gonna pick one side to maybe have another tree. And then maybe just continue down there. So notice how my trees get lighter as they get further away. That also helps with perspective. So if I want this one to stand out a little bit more and set those ones back even further, then I'll just come right over the top of this one with straight black. And just make that a little bit wider. And then as I finish this one up, I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of shadows between the ripples. This will just make everything stand out a little bit more. So just a few like that. It kind of gives a subtle bit of movement in the water. And that was just with the leftover black paint in my brush. Now I'm going to go in. I still have a little bit of black in there. I'm going to just pick up a little bit of my reds and see it's still quite dark. I'm just going to soften this one a little bit. Add a little bit more black to this one. Another bit of a reflection, just a little wiggle and flick. And I'm going to call this one done. So this is just a simple, basic how to paint a sunset, a really warm sunset with uh, silhouettes of trees and shadows in the water. So I hope you guys learned a lot and picked up a lot of different tips and techniques today by watching this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you next time, everybody. Happy painting and take care. Bye.